2011 PGA show, and uh, I'm at the Shrixon booth, Shrixon Cleveland actually, and, and here's the new Z-Star uh, yellows. Uh, my pal John here is going to tell us about those and about a new ball that uh, just came out. So let's uh, let's hear it. Last year, Shrixon came out with the Tor Yellow golf ball, and we have that in both of our premium offerings. The Tor Yellow is really a visual performance initiative for us. Okay. And what it allows is it allows the golfer to see the ball better throughout the entire flight. And what's true in golf and true in any sport is visualization is one of the keys to performance. Sure. If you can visualize the shot, you can execute it. Being able to see your golf ball the flight from beginning to end puts you in a better position to visualize shots later on. When you can visualize those shots, you can make them, you can execute them. So what we're trying to do is do something that you've seen in tennis when it's shifted from white balls to yellow balls, which you see in NFL where they paint the gold post yellow, which you see in construction signs where they put warning signs in yellow. Anything that needs to be seen clearly is made out of yellow. We're making premium golf balls in yellow so that everybody can see them and get a little bit of benefit out of it. Okay. Now I played the uh, I played the yellow last year and I really liked it. Uh, I, I thought that I got a, a really great amount of spin and control, especially on the short game. Little 50-yard shots, I was able to you know check them up. 20-yard pitches. Uh, so is there is there anything new in this year's model uh, of the the Z Star Yellow? Well, the the Tor Yellow and the Pure White golf balls are identical in performance. They're only different in color. Okay. And a lot of that spin you're seeing is because it's a premium Tor ball. Right. The Tor Yellow is really the first Tor caliber golf ball that is used yellow color. Okay. Now for us this year we have new golf balls in both our Z Star and Z Star XB. Okay. Z -Star, That's the new ball that we're yes, talking the XB about. XB is the brand new ball. Z Star some subtle updates from last year. We made the cover a little bit softer so you can get a little bit more spin on those short chip shots. Okay. We've improved the core a little bit so that you get a little bit more ball speed with a little bit less driver spin. So let's talk about that that new ball. We we got some of them right here. Uh, the uh, Z Star XV. So. Uh, uh, let, let's hear about this ball. I, I know we have a, a dual core ball, which is cool. The XV is a four piece ball, so it has two separate cores and then a mid layer and then a cover. Okay. So, with the dual core technology, what we're able to do is make a core that's both high compression for stronger golfers, yet keeps the driver spin down. So, for that guy with 105 mile an hour swing speed or more, he tends to be fighting too much spin off the driver. Now we can give him a ball that both gives him the ball speed he's looking for while keeping that spin down to get maximum distance. Now, I assume the fact that you have two cores, they're different densities. Yes, uh, they are. Is, so is the, the center core more dense? or how do They're the same density. The center core is a lower compression, so it's softer. Okay. The outer core is firmer. Okay. And with traditional golf balls, the trouble you have in core design is that if you make the core firm, you get high ball speed, but you get high backspin. If you make it soft, you get low ball speed, but you get low driver spin. Okay. So with a dual core, we're kind of mixing and matching to take advantage of both, giving us high ball speed from the firm outer core and low driver spin from the soft inner core. And then what about the, uh, what about the, uh, we have two more layers, right? Yeah. And the ball, so what do those do and, and what's the technology there? In both the Z-Star and XV, we have a urethane cover and what we've done that separates us from a lot of the other premium balls is we have both the thinnest cover and the softest cover. Okay. Now, softest cover is pretty obvious. To make a cover softer, you can get more wedge spin. And we have the softest cover in golf. Now, the thinnest covers are a little bit more complicated. If you want to maximize ball speed, the core is really the engine of the golf ball. It's what drives power. So when you can make a bigger core, you can get more ball speed. By having the thinnest cover in golf, what we're able to do is, is make, make the core that, bigger. Make the core bigger yeah. gives us more power, really allows us to get maximum ball speed out of each one of our offerings. Well, I can't wait to try out the, uh, the the new XV, even though my swing speed may not quite be up to where it should be. Well, typically, you know. we say it's for a guy with a 105 mile an hour swing speed, but really for anybody who tends to be fighting too much spin with their driver, okay. this is a ball that will work for them. It'll feel a little firmer than the Z Star, but it's really going to knock driver spin off. The Z Star is for someone who's looking for that soft feel from driver through putter, looking to really get a lot of spin around the short game. 
Well, thanks, man. I, uh, I appreciate your time. Uh, golf ball technology is uh, is pretty amazing. You know, there's a, a lot of physics and a lot of uh, testing, I'm sure, that, that goes into making a great golf ball. These do perform very well. I can tell you that from personal experience. So uh, thanks a lot for your time, and I appreciate it. Thanks a lot it. for coming out. It's good to meet you. Yeah.